Good day. Welcome to Partakers Friday Prayers on Friday the 9th of September 2011. Let's pray together. Father, as we commence, may our hearts and minds be right before you. May your everlasting mercy, grace and love be shown in hearing these petitions. Praise to God the Father sing, praise to God the Son our King, praise to God the Spirit be, now and through eternity. Amen. Let's now have a short time of silence where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart, your own petitions and praises. Let's pray and praise together. Lord, in your infinite mercy, hear these petitions of your children and accept these praises. Amen. Father God, we come before you now, lifting these dear ones and all who are ill, so that they may be held in your arms of compassion. Elsie, Joy, Ruth, Maggie, Bruce, Chris and Bronwyn. We also lift to you, Father, all those who are grieving the loss of loved ones, such as Mrs. Lee and Mrs. Rake. Father, we also lift before you all those facing uh, uh, challenging situations, such as confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues and financial pressures. Hear the cries of our hearts, O oh Father, and give wisdom and courage to overcome and help respective governments to send aid and be compassionate. We lift these people to you, Father, trusting that you will meet their needs in whatever situation is being faced, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. Particularly lift to you Sarah, Lynn, along with Ernie and his wife. Hear the cries of their hearts and give heed to their petitions. Dear Lord, thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for our families and friends. Forgive us our sin and help us to know you more. Help us to decrease whilst you may increase in our lives and that you will be magnified all to your glory. We ask these things, our Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father God, we now lift before you all those who are preaching, teaching, leading and participating in church services around the world this weekend. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide and uplift them. Let them know through your Spirit, this Holy Spirit who lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Lord God, renew your worldwide church in holiness and help us to serve you with gladness and joy. Guide the leaders of all nations so that justice may prevail. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Make us your church, instruments of your peace, and let your glory be over all the earth. Cause to arise, O Lord, 
church leaders who will campaign and seek to develop social justice, both on a local, national and global scale. Amen. Almighty God, we lift this world to you, a world which is crying out for its redemption. We lift to you all people and places where natural disasters have occurred, Help the governments and aid agencies to be quick to respond in bringing aid to people affected. Help those people in need, O Father, in ways which only you can achieve and imagine. Fire the imagination of people to solve these ongoing issues. Enlighten people to give generously, to share and to be looking to the interests of others. May justice and peace come to places where natural disasters have occurred, where strife war and terrorism currently dominate. Where there is chaos, may order arise. And where there is hatred, may love be sown. Amen. Finally, we close with this prayer of great praise. O Father, may it be that your love takes over our lives, that we would follow you faithfully as your church, May we give to you alone praise in all circumstances we face together. We ask all these things, O Father, through the majestic name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who lives inside us. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.